watch list they have given some uh, flip flops and then some combinator circuits clock must have been given but then clock is missing don't worry about the clock they are saying that if this is the flip flops and if this is the combination circuit if p equal to 0 p means this one if this input p equal to 0 then what is the counting sequence of a b so why did they give a b is they mean to say that a is the most significant bit and b is the least significant bit so what they wanted us to do is fill this state table that's it a b is 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 right and now i have to find out a n b n right so given this state i should see the next state now if you watch it the next state will depend on since it is a d flip flop the next state will dip okay how is the d flip flop it is given as it you know it is d that is why i am taking it as d so they didn't explicitly mention it but then they have written it as d flip flops right now d flip flops works as if whenever whatever the input is here after one clock that input will appear here therefore a n is equal to d a and b n is equal to d b right hmm. now if you watch it d b is nothing but this one right so if you see this it is nand nand collection right so nand nand collection is also nothing but uh, you know instead of analyzing it as nand nand you could analyze it as and or isn't it so how you can move this bubble here and you can move this bubble here then it will become or gate therefore and or i think you already remember that nand nand is equal to and or so you can directly think of this as this entire block as and or i'm not replacing it but you think of it that way and it is also and or right fine now it is nothing but sum of product terms what are the product terms that depends on what are the inputs given here see this one is a prime is given here and if you look at this this link this one is taken from b therefore this is b right and now this one is again a prime and this one is p is taken but complement and given this is the not gate okay so p is taken and it is complement is applied there therefore it is p complement so this is a complement p complement and this is a complement b right and what about this one this is p here right and if you watch it this one is going to come like this right and therefore it is b complement right and what about this one so it is nothing but p complement right so see p is going like this and again coming here therefore it is p complement and what about this one this one is coming from i think a therefore it is a very complex right so <laughs> once you once you write down the inputs it will be very simple and you know don't analyze it in terms of nand nand and or is simple okay now see this now what will be da da will be sum of these two product terms because it is and and it is or so i am writing like this da is simply these two sum of these two a prime b a prime b plus plus a prime p prime that is da and what about db db is here right so db is again sum of product terms right so which is pb prime plus what about this p prime a p prime a now they are saying that if p equal to 0 then what what are the states therefore in place of p you just put 0 then what do i get then uh, da is nothing but a prime b and db is nothing but if p equal to 0 i get it as a right so now if da is a sorry if db is a then see this if db is a then what will be bn bn will be a we know that bn equal to db we already know that since it is a d flip flop bn equal to db why because whatever is the next state of b that depends on what is input applied to the d right and now we found out that db is equal to a therefore bn equal to a so what is bn this entire part is equal to a which is nothing but 0 0 1 1 right and what about a n watch it a n depends on a n depends on db right then what is db db is okay no no <laughs> a n depends on d uh, d a and da is a prime b so you have to take a prime b 
now if i take a prime b it will be 0 and a prime b it is 1 a prime b it is 0 a prime b it is 0 right therefore this is the next state so if a b is this the next state is this then how can i write the write all these states 0 0 if you are present in 0 0 then you are going to stay in the same state 0 0 right and if you are present in 0 1 then you are going to 1 0 and if you are in 1 0 you are coming back to 0 1 right and if you are in 1 1 you are going to 0 1 if you are in 1 1 you are going to 0 1 got it so this is the state uh, state diagram so that that is the counting sequence we got understood that so only one thing is even though it is nand nand you consider it as and or and then everything will be straightforward hmm? fine okay, here i made a small mistake see if p is 0 uh, this p prime is 1 therefore uh, this is nothing but it is wrong so here i had to write it like this if p is 0 p prime is 1 so what is this this entire factor is 1 then it is going to be a prime b plus a prime now if you pull out a prime as common then what do i get 1 plus b then what is it a prime therefore da is a prime so now since da is a prime a n will be a prime which means here i will be getting the entire complement which is 1 1 0 0 right hmm. now everything is fine now let us see what are the counting states so one thing is if you are in 0 0 you are going to 1 0 and if you are in 1 0 if you are in uh, 1 0 you are going to 0 1 and if you are in 0 1 you are going to 1 0 again back right and if you are in uh, that's it and if you are in 1 1 you are going to 0 1 if you are in 1 1 you are going to 0 1 right so that is the counting sequence it is acting as a mod 2 counter right and wherever you are it is going to get, take you to mod 2 counter therefore it is self starting but then not uh, you know free running because it is not containing all the states here it is simply self starting and not free running fine